Hello, this is Officiant Christopher with nyofficients.com and I'm here at the beautiful Crest Hollow Country Club. I'm going to be marrying my soon-to-be newlyweds, Kenneth and Irma, soon to be the new Mr. and Mrs. Cohen. So they chose my love story package. I'm gonna get this ceremony started shortly. Check us out on our Vimeo page, NY Officiates, and I will see you at the next ceremony. I'd like to begin by telling you a little story. Irma and Ken's love story, that is. The great thing about a love story is that every single one is unique. Like a fingerprint, there are no two exactly alike. In this technologic world, with instant communication at our fingertips, Irma and Ken took advantage of such a luxury. That is actually how they met. Irma and Ken, and, and Ken met on an online dating site. Now, as we all know, these sites are statistically not the best success rate when it comes to romance. Clearly, these two are one of the exceptions on that busy Saturday night. After dinner, they went mini golfing at the Nautical Mine. You guys remember that thing? Now, we all know that when there is a second location after a dinner date, things are going quite well. That night was a success, and it planted the seed for this amazing relationship, and now a lifelong commitment. From that evening on, this beautiful couple developed their bond through many wonderful experiences, like going on several cruises, most notably the ones to Italy, France, Belgium, Norway, Germany, and England. Irma was quite nervous on these ships because she did not know how to swim, which is also, may I add, the main reason she never watched the movie Titanic. <laughs> that same summer, Ken brought Irma to more than 10 concerts in less than one month. Good job. Now I must add, however, that these two have not had the best luck at the concerts. When Kenneth took Irma to a Black Sabbath concert, someone in the crowd used their head as a drum, which officially began Irma's boycott of heavy metal concerts. Ken also discovered that Irma's family also has a wild side. When they went on a boat that stopped on 30 feet of water, and the entire Howe family jumped in, and get this, including Irma, who can't even swim. I'm not sure how that worked out, but it clearly did quite well. 